Yeah, once again, I'm having a problem of uh, time and work. Lot many problems I have already solved based on this topic. I am sure you might have revised all the problems. And now it's your turn to take a test, right? Try this problem without touching your paper and pen. If you can do this problem without touching your paper and pen in less than 30 seconds, then only you just assume that your preparation is taking a shape. Else you need to strengthen your basics, right? See friends, competition is going to be tougher and tougher day by day, right? If you want to get through your exam, you need to put up a lot of efforts, right? You should watch the videos again and again. Every time you will watch the video, you will get something new. Whenever you choose a topic, just get a complete mastery over on that topic, right? So here I'm solving a problem based on time and work. 12 men can complete a piece of work in four days. Just listen to me very carefully. I won't be touching paper and pen and you should be able to understand this uh, explanation in just one go, right? 12 men can complete the piece of work in 4 days, while 15 women can complete the same work in 4 days. 6 men started uh, start working the same job and after working for 2 days, all of them stopped working. How many women should be put on the job to complete the remaining work if it is to be completed in 3 days? Now listen to me carefully. 12 men can complete the work, or work in 4 days. That means the work is of 48 men days. Now what is happening over here? Six men are starting and they are uh, working only for two days. That means six into two, 12 men days work is completed, right? The work was of 48 men days, 12 men days work is completed. That means one fourth of the work is already completed, right? Till they are leaving the job. After that, the three fourth of the work to be done, right? Now the capacity of the woman, that is 15 women can complete the same work in four days. That means the work is of 15 into four, 60 women days. The entire work is of 60 women days, but one-fourth of the work has already done, uh, been done by men. So, three-fourth of the work, the, it has to be done by women. Now, women can do uh, the entire work. Uh, that means the work is of 60 women days, the entire work, but the three-fourth of the work will be of 45 women days. Getting my point? Now, what is the question? Now we are left with the 45 women days work. How many women should be put on the job to complete the remaining work if it is to be completed in 3 days? Now we have the work left of 45 women days. Uh, the work has to be completed in 3 days. That means 15 women should be there. As simple as that. No paperwork, no formula, nothing is required. And you will also observe, you might have observed that I haven't done any deep or like a very lengthy calculation. It's a very simple problem can be uh, solved in just uh, 20 to 30 seconds if you are conceptually clear, right? So if you are not clear for the first time, watch this video again and again till you get the mastery over the topic, right? 